Kelowna Weather brought to you by Border Plumbing, Heating, and Electrical. Howdy, Kelowna. It's your friendly neighborhood reporter, Sarah Jones, here to give you a look at your weekend weather and events update. Well, I am not a meteorologist. I do know how to look at the Environment Canada website, but you know, I'm not exactly sure I would trust the girl who's wearing a toque and Birkenstocks because I don't know how to dress appropriately uh, between this weird in-between weather. Anywho, uh, we are looking at some above seasonal temperatures again this weekend that will continue to absolutely shatter previous records set back in the early 2000s. Is it getting hot in here or is it just climate change? Just kidding. Not really. Anyway, we are looking to get up to a high of 19 with a mainly sunny sky. Overnight, we're dropping below 6 degrees. Saturday, surprise, surprise, hitting 20 degrees with more sunshine and an absolute perfect day to go vote because, yes, sir, our municipal election is on September 15th. Overnight, chilly with a low of 8. And on Sunday, of course, it's even warmer somehow. I anticipate a high of 21. Again, at least that is what EC is telling me. Okie dokie, and as for events, we got Horror Fest kicking off tonight at the Black Box Theater. One of Kelowna's favorite horror film festivals has been revived by some of the twisted minds of the Okanagan's finest filmmakers. Now in its 13th year, this 19 plus event promises to bring its audience scares, laughs, and a play good time as you watch a number of locally produced spooky flicks. If you can't attend in person, no worries because all the films will be still be posted on the website for your enjoyment. You can grab your tickets online. Spooks and kooks not really your thing. Well, you can also spend your night at Prospera Place, the Kelowna Rockets face off against the Everett Silvertips. Puck Chop is at 7 p.m. Friday night. And on Saturday, we got the general local election that will have people voting for a mayor, eight city councilors, along with four trustees to School District 23. If you're 18 and a BC resident, then walk the run to one of the many polling stations across the city from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. to have your voice heard in this local election. If you want to take a closer look at the candidates, you can check out our specially made website, ColonaVotes.com, where we here at Kelowna now spoke with almost all the candidates and put together some little video clips for you to get to know them <clears throat> better and help you make a more informed decision. Check it out at ColonaVotes.com. Following this, grab tickets to the Zandu at the Kelowna Actors Studio. This Tony Award-nominated hilarious roller skating musical adventure is about following your dreams despite limitations others have set for you, just kind of like this election. Uh, roll along to the original hit score composed by rock, pop rock legends like the Electric Light Orchestra. You can learn more about this show that is running right until the 30th on the Kelowna Actors Studio website. Okie dokie, I lost my voice halfway there. Uh, halfway through that, I can't talk. That's it, that's all. For more information on events, breaking news, and weather, check out Kelowna Now's website or follow the socials on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. I will be back on Monday for another look at your weekly weather and events update. Enjoy your weekend, Kelowna. Go vote, and I'm sure that I will see you around. This weekend's weather and events update was brought to you by Border Plumbing, Heating, and Electrical with over 1,000 five-star reviews.